Hi all, here we are on day 9 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Yesterday we looked at Jesus the healer, but today we're looking at Jesus is a miracle worker. And God is a miracle worker. Now what does that mean to us? Let's get very specific before we're praying about it. It means in the ordinary, everyday cycles of things and what you'd expect, that God is able to intervene into those areas and suddenly do miraculous things that are extraordinary. Now, all of creation is a miracle. God spoke, let there be light, when there was no light, and there was light. God spoke creation into existence, which is a miracle. And our faith is based on the fact that God created everything out of nothing. That in itself is a great miracle. And so, out of that basis, again, out of the scriptures, miracles happen, such as feeding of the 5,000, such as the parting of the Red Sea. Unusual things happening out of the ordinary by the hand of God. God's intervention into ordinariness of life to bring about his blessing and his kingdom in different ways. And so let's look at some scriptures before we pray along these lines about Jesus being our miracle worker. Looking at scripture first, we're going to look at Acts chapter 4 verses 29 to 30. And this is where the church itself, the early church in Acts began to pray along these lines because they were under persecution and pressure and they began to pray concerning the God of miracles, particularly through the blessing of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. And look what it says there, chapter 4, verses 29 to 30 of Acts. Now, look, look on their, heart, their threats and grant to your servants that, which, that with all boldness they may speak your word by stretching out your hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant Jesus. That was their prayer. We can pray that prayer today. Another scripture verse is in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 8, verses 26 to 27. And it says this, Jesus is speaking. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. Again, in Jeremiah, it says this, in Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17, from the booklet that we're using as our prayer guide. Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth, and by your great power, an outstretched arm. There is nothing too difficult for you. This is our God who created the heavens and the earth. Nothing is too difficult for him. He can overcome even the natural laws as such and bring about blessings. And Jesus did that again and again. And he showed us that he wants his kingdom to come in. And even if that means overcoming natural laws, whether walking on water, feeding 5,000, whatever it is, turning water into wine, overcoming natural laws, even raising people from the dead to bring about his goodness and his kingdom. There's times when God's hand does that, brings that about. Even creation itself was out of that. And we can pray along with the early church and pray along these lines. Stretch out your hand, Lord God. Do signs and wonders. Help us to speak your word with boldness. Let us see your kingdom come. This is more than just healing. Healing is good, and that's also miraculous in different ways. But this is more than healing. It's other miraculous interventions of God's hand. Where we see, for instance, Peter in jail and the, the prison doors opened up and he goes out walks out freely or where paul is in jail and the shackles just fall off him he's his other companions and even everybody in the jail miraculous things happening so let's pray right now pray that we meditate upon not only the god of miracles but jesus who brings about even greater miraculous events for us today jesus is our miracle worker who works within the world through us and by faith in us and our faith in him but also by the holy power of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray along these lines. Lord God, help us to perceive your miracles, even your miracles of creation, and to be thankful for it, and to recognize them as miracles, the miracle of creation itself, many miracles, but also, Lord God, to recognize that you want to do extraordinary miracles, extraordinary things where your hand intervenes to bring blessing and wholeness to mankind, and particularly, Lord God, to your church, to your people, 
that your people would receive and be also channels of your miraculous powers. That we too, in the name of Jesus, would be able to see your miraculous power, heaven on earth, overcoming even the ordinary things of life to bring about your blessing, to speak to the winds and the waves, to calm down, to open prison doors, to see the miraculous happening in so many ways. Lord Jesus, help us to be thankful for what we already have in your miraculous gifts. Help us to be more open to it. Help us, Lord God, to walk in the miraculous ourselves, and that your church would walk in the miraculous, showing that your kingdom reigns on earth today. Lord God, may we see it. May the world see it. May we perceive it. And may we bring about more and be expectations of it. Have expectation of the ordinariness of your extraordinariness. For us to become citizens of heaven with an extraordinary ordinariness of your goodness of your kingdom. Lord God, help us to expect it and live in the good of it. And see your kingdom come in all its fullness. In Jesus' name we pray. Father God, amen. Be blessed and be a blessing. God bless you.